Well, I would call myself a contemporary artist who is influenced by the Eastern philosophy of Zen Buddhism and its theory of aesthetics called wabi-sabi. At the same time, I was trained as an artist in the West, in the West like in the Munich Academy of Fine Arts. Inspiration comes primarily from introspection, which is part of the meditation practice of the Zen. So it's not from outside, it's rather to looking inside, and that's where the inspiration comes from. working as a professional is the subject. So I have been for 15 years painting landscapes. That's what, what I started with because my teacher was a very, very advanced and well-known landscape artist. And I loved, I loved very much to paint landscape. And when I came to Bali, I was still with landscape. And then in Bali, surprisingly, my, my, my focus changed from painting landscape into introspection, maybe because I was influenced by the religious situation of Bali and I became more and more abstract. I call it, like you could call it abstract gestures, gesture painting. And then after something like 10 years doing this, very colorful, powerful gesture paintings like Jackson Pollock's technique, I, I changed into more and more calmer work but even so using calligraphy as and I would call this period then the abstract calligraphy period which I did also for 15 years and I only used three colors that was the background color of, of beige from by handmade papers and the black color for the male energy and the red color for the female energy and then again after something like 15 years Five years ago, I started to, to do the work which I call now the color windows. As a combination of mind set composition, like the color field with, on the square, and the square inside and another square, which I call color window, and this is counterbalanced by the spontaneous brush stroke which comes out of the chi. And, and this is like you bring together the mind, compos the mind set composition with the spontaneity, spontaneity. So it's very, very constructed that you could call this the German mind. And on the other hand, the introspection and the power of chi expresses itself by the brush stroke. And this comes into balance. This would be two aspects of it. And one is rather Western and the other one is probably rather Eastern. Bali exactly 30 years ago 
And when I came here first, I really thought I came into paradise. I, I didn't think Walter Spies had a similar experience. And uh, when I came, I really believed this, this is paradise because of the beauty of the nature, because of the kindness of the people and all of that. But uh, it was the biggest lesson maybe I, I could learn here that there is no paradise anywhere on this planet. The only way you could find paradise maybe is, is inside. That's an interesting question. Um, I think both of us were drawn by, by the incredible beauty of the island, its nature, and also by the beauty of the people, by the kindness of the people, and by the religion, by the culture. And this has, I think, a background in the romanticism of, of Germany. The, the Germans have a tendency to romantic. And uh, I think this is something what we had in common. We both had, of course, also wake-up calls that showed us it's not so easy, especially in Walter Spies's case, who ended very tragically by, by a very early death. And uh, the, the difference between his work and my work is, is, is very, very much uh, to see like this, that I try to to create a sort of inner landscapes, if you could call it landscapes, but there is always aspects of landscape ness in my work, whereas Walter Spies created a sort of, of uh, surreal, idealistic landscape on the real subjects of Bali, like uh, the landscape and, and the farmer and the cow and the paddies. I did landscapes like that when I arrived here, but then I went away and I went more and more to see my inner landscape. Enzo is, in Zen tradition and in Zen painting, one of the most important symbols to, to symbolize the real reality. Not the visible reality, but it's a symbol for the harmony of the universe. And there is Zen masters, they do hundreds, if not thousands, of these circles during their meditation praxis. So the painting is a sort of meditation praxis where they again and again make this circle. And the quality of the circle shows how much the master is introspected, how much the master is really concentrated on that what he's doing. To blend out thinking, to blend out seeing. You do this almost blind. When, when I did my circle on the painting, you can see behind, I, I did not do it by seeing it, I was just doing, but rather by feeling it or just by doing it without thinking, just really only concentrating. Goal is the perfect one, but everybody knows it will not be as perfect as a technically made or by computer created circle. And and the process of this is is very, very difficult one, even if it looks very, very easy. And that's why I have once said in my book, which is called Between Cultures, I said, painting is a pain thing. It's almost like the birth a woman gives to a child, which is a very painful experience, but the result, the outcome, is something very beautiful, new, and a fresh creation.